hey guys how are you i hope all of you are doing well so in this video it's a short video i'm gonna discuss about how you can set expiry to your redis keys so we have a redis store where we'll set some keys and then we'll set also set expiry for those keys and experiment with those keys so just to give you an example or just to give you a brief about redis redis is a free and open source in-memory database which stores values in the form of key value pairs so it's very similar to how javascript json works with all key values that you can store as or also known as let's say dictionaries where you can have keys and then corresponding values set into the dictionary we'll also look at few more commands which you can commonly use with redis and uh, since I was experimenting with Redis, mostly uh, to use Redis as a session store, so I came across these commands and I thought of sharing these with you. All right, so let's first start our Redis instance. So I have my terminal open here, and I have already installed Redis. So let's start the instance, and then we'll use the other terminal for writing commands. Okay, so to start the instance, you, say, uh, you write Redis server and then hit enter. My Redis instance is now running. So it starts at port 6379, which is the default port for Redis. So since my Redis instance is running here, I can use the other terminal to open the Redis CLI. All right, so I am now logged into my Redis CLI and I can start writing some commands. So first command I can write is keys star. So it shows you all the keys that you have in your Redis store. So right now I don't have any. So let's set a key. So for that, the command is very simple. You give a set command and the name of your key. So you can say any name you can set. Let's say employee name and you can give a value to your key. All right, so this is the basic command to set a key where employee name is the key name and this is the value. So if I hit enter now, this will set the key into the Redis store. And now you can read the key with the key name. So you can see I get back the key value. So by default it stores as a string. So you can see that now if I go and set say employee ID as one and now try to read the employee ID. So I get one which is in the form of string. So whenever you're writing a JavaScript application or a node application, you'll basically stringify the value and then store it into the value store. All right, so right now I have two keys I have created and which is there in my Redis store. So I can actually go and type the command again, key star, and it gives me all the keys. So you can, as a convenience, you can also copy the key name and then just paste it, it gives you the value. Then uh, we can see a uh, few more commands. So there's one command which is db size, which tells you the size of your database. So it's two. So this means we have two keys into our database. So Redis is very different from say traditional RDBMS databases, relational databases, or even MongoDB. So here in Redis, we don't have collections or tables. Everything is stored in form in the form of uh, key value pairs. So when I say DB size, that means basically two keys. So I have two keys here. And uh, now I have another command which is where I can kill all the keys. So for that, I can say flush DB and it says ok now let's go and see keys star so there are no keys here because i have flushed all the keys so you can go and test db size which is zero so i have flushed out all my keys now let's set a key again and set name joseph so i have created one key and i can read the key again so it gives me joseph so we have looked at commands like keys star which gives you all the keys so we have seen how you can set keys where you can get the value of the key we also saw about db size and flush db and the next important uh, uh, command that i wanted to uh, discuss is the setting the key with the expiry so redis by default has default uh, support for expiry so when you set a key with an expiry after that expiry is over the key is automatically deleted from the Redis instance. So this is usually useful when you are using uh, Redis as a session store. So you can set, let's say, for example, 24 hours session 
time for your uh, whatever sessions you have maintained in your Redis instance and once that session is or the timeout has uh, expired then the session will be killed from your instance so in that case the user who are already using the app will have to log in again so this is just an example okay now let's set a key with an expiry so for example i'll set a key i'll use the same name name joseph and for expiration setting expiration you can use two forms ex and px so whenever i specify ex and after that i specify a value it's always in seconds so here i am telling redis that okay set the key name for with the value joseph for five seconds after five seconds the key will expire automatically so let's set this and try to get the name okay so it gives me a value it gives me a value and now the key has expired so when i try to get the name again this gives me nil so the five second timeout has already expired so let's see another example let's clear my terminal and let's go back to the setting example again and instead of ex i can use px so px is basically whenever you use px you will specify a value after px which will be in milliseconds so if i specify 5000 so that is 5000 milliseconds which is equivalent to 5 seconds so here also again i set the key for 5 seconds and let's get the value so till now it's giving me the value back now it's expired so i'm getting a new now if i run my db size command so there are no keys in the database because everything is expired okay so for setting the key you have seen two examples uh, set uh, so sorry for setting the key with an expiry you have seen two examples which you can use ex and px and uh, you have seen few other useful commands so hopefully this is a very short video i know and uh, hopefully this will inspire you enough to give redis a try it's a wonderful little uh, database which you can use for a lot of utilities or a lot of uh, your use cases in your application all right so see you then in another video i hope you have a good day